This next thing, though, is, is incredibly important. It may be, may be one of the best things I, I share with you all day. I've shown you examples of it um, earlier, and uh, John loves this stuff and uses it uh, in his work as well, so does Arthur. Um, it's called a ratio ticker symbol. So the, the general topic here is how do we compare um, different um, data sets, different stocks or different indexes, that kind of thing. And we, we've been looking at different ways to compare it all day long. So here's another way to compare things, and it, it's very powerful. A ratio ticker symbol is a ticker symbol where we have divided two data sets by each other and then turned that division result into its own ticker symbol, its own index. This is where you can invent your own index to a certain degree. Essentially what you do is you take one ticker symbol, you then type a colon, and then you type the other ticker symbol. And when you do that, when we see that, you can put that in the main ticker box up above the chart, or you can put it in any of those price indicators or price performance indicators that we just looked at. Although, frankly, the price performance of a ratio symbol kind of hurts my head. When, when we see a ticker symbol that has a colon in it, we do the following arithmetic that you see there on the screen. We take the, first, the open, high, low, and close of the first symbol and divide each of those by the close of the second symbol. It turns out if you did the open by the open, and the high by the high, and the low by the, if you, if you did each one, you would end up with invalid candles. There are times where like the high, if you did that math, then you'd end up where a high wasn't actually the high. So invalid candles are bad. So we, we added, we, we came up with this scheme where we just look at the close of the second ticker symbol and, you, and apply that universally. Does that make sense? And here's an example where we've taken Microsoft and divided it by dollar SPX. This is straight out of John's book, The Visual Investor. This is called a, a ratio per, or, and sometimes a, a performance chart, but we like to call it a ratio chart. The interpretation could not be simpler. The interpretation is if the line is rising, then the first ticker is stronger and outperforming. If the line is falling, then the second ticker is stronger and outperforming. And the first ticker is weaker. And so you use these comparison charts to get a sense of, the direct, of, of which things are stronger and which things are weaker. John uses this with intermarket analysis constantly. In this case, we're comparing Microsoft to the S&P 500, and we can see that there was a point in time in 2009 where Microsoft was nicely outperforming things. Uh, evidently, the good times ended in January 1, 2010, because you can tell more or less from that point on uh, until recently um, that Microsoft, that that line was trending down, and so the S&P was outperforming Microsoft at that time. Recently, it turned around, and um, I don't know where it is at this point. This, this chart's a little old. Um, you can also see that I've added a moving average line to this chart. I can add Bollinger Bands. I can add anything I want to. This, this ratio ticker symbol is just like any other ticker symbol that I type in, and so it can be used. I can do the MACD of it. I can do RSI, all these different kinds of things. And uh, moving averages in particular are helpful because they, they help you understand uh, turning points, and as John and Arthur mentioned, they kind of form um, uh, curving support and resistance lines. So you can use trend line analysis on these charts, lots of different kinds of things.